So now we've defined the load, the next step is to define the boundary conditions. So I come over here to boundary conditions, I double click on that, and I'm going to name it fixed to ground. That's because our barbell stand is going to be placed on the ground, maybe even locked in there. So we want to tell Abacus that, hey, this lower part of the barbell stand, that's fixed. So don't move this. It's not falling through the sky or anything. It's fixed to the ground. So it's only this top section here that's really free to move. As for the step, I could leave it a loading step, but I prefer to change it to initial. I like applying my boundary conditions before the loads are applied. And that might be a matter of personal preference, but I found this works pretty well when you've got a lot of boundary conditions and a lot of steps and can get pretty confusing later on. So I'm going to set it to initial. The category is mechanical. As for the constraint itself, I'm going to go with incaster. Incaster is when you fix something so it has zero degrees of freedom. It cannot translate an X, Y, or Z, nor can it rotate about any of those. In different simulations, you might choose different ones over here, uh, depending on your needs. So I'm going to go with symmetry, anti-symmetry, and caster. Click on it. Click on continue, sorry. And then Abacus says, select the regions for the boundary condition. I want to select the region at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is rotate this around by using the rotate view tool. Come back here, rotate it around. Click on the tool again, so I return back to what Abacus wanted, and I can click on it now. And then I click on Done. But before I click Done, let me just explain. You see the Sets button here? Now if in the assembly, and I'm not going to click on it because then I'll have to redo these steps, but if in assembly you had defined sets, then you can just click on Sets and select the set instead of choosing it over here in this viewport. I'm going to click on Done. And next, it's asking me to be more specific. Am I going for symmetry condition? Am I trying to pin it? Or am I trying to like fix it completely? So I'm going to go with incaster, which means the translations as well as the rotations are all zero. And then I click OK. And there you see Abacus has marked the boundary conditions on it. I'm going to rotate it around. And so you can see the entire bottom has been fixed in place.